Hi friends, a very warm welcome back to our channel. I am Chanda Mama. This is your Chanda Mama bringing you a new story in this video. So the story is titled as Adventures of Amar and Ichibo. Published in the Gokulam magazine. So we start off with the story. It was Tuesday, grammar class again. Miss Padma entered the classroom and all the children stood up to wish her. Good morning, Miss Padma, they chorused. They all wished the grammar lesson was over before it had started. In the last class, we learnt about nouns, said Miss Padma. Now, can anyone tell me what noun is? There was a dead silence in the classroom. Ichibo looked out of the classroom window, admiring the magpie robin which sat on the tree. Just beneath the sill. The teacher signaled her out. Suchitra, you answer, she said. Ichibo had not been paying attention. She hadn't heard the question at all. Amar, who was sealed beside her, whispered, Noun, a noun. To everyone's astonishment, Ichibo began to sing. Grammar is so easy if you learn to sing. A noun is the name of a person plays or thing. All the faces turned towards Ichibo. The teacher was amazed. The child had a very sweet voice and a perfect sense of rhythm. She continued as if in a trance. Nouns are common or proper you see, abstract or collective as the case may be. All the children laughed and clapped so loudly as Ichibo finished the little song. None of them looked bored anymore. They were alert. Miss Padma was not pleased with the uproar. Order, order, she said. I'll teach you adjectives today. Slowly, the class became silent, silent, dull and listless again. Amar and Luchibo looked at each other. The stranger had told them that they could go to the grammar land whenever they wished. All they had to do was to close their eyes and wish. You took so long to come, said the stranger. Our teacher delayed us, said Ichibo. She asked us what a noun was and she wasn't very pleased when I sang her the answer. The stranger laughed. Never mind, Ichibo. You knew, didn't you? Ichibo nodded. Well, that's what counts, he said. I'm going to take you to the house of adjectives today. And so following their friend, they walked through the grammar land and they until at last they came to the house of adjectives. Is that an adjective? Asked Amar, pointing to a little fellow dressed in a green holding hands with a noun. Nouns and adjectives are good friends. They always go hand in hand. If there were no adjectives, language would be very dull said the stranger. Here's the adjectives of quality. He said, beckoning to a fellow in green who was standing nearby. Nouns like town, car or book may be described as big, grey and interesting. Adjectives usually go before nouns and tell us about them. Adjective describes the noun, said the stranger. Demonstrative adjective came up just then and introduced himself. Hello. He said, I am demonstrative adjective. I am demonstrative. I demonstrate the noun. This girl, that tree, these apples. Distribute adjective came forward and introduced himself. Each, everyone, every, everybody, these belong to me, he said. The adjective of quality took Amara Nichibo aside. I had like to tell you about the comparisons, he said. I have three degrees, positive, comparative and superlative, like dark, darker, darkest. I can think of few more, said Ichibo, heavy, heavier, heaviest and clean, cleaner, cleanest, dirty, dirtier, dirtiest and bad, badder. No, 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 Ichibo, you cannot do that every time. Sometimes I am irregular too, said the adjective of quality. Why? What do you mean? asked Ichibo, opening her eyes wide. I don't understand. 
Why stupid? Don't you know you cannot say bad, bad or baddest? You ought to say bad, worse and worst. Isn't that right? Said Amar, turning to the adjective of quality. Yes, Amar, you are right. But you must not make fun of Ichibo. It is rather confusing. Ichibo thought hard. I know what irregular means. Little, less, least is irregular, isn't it? The adjective of quality nodded. Listen to this rhyme, said Amma excitedly. Good, better, best, never let them rest. Till your good is better and your better best. Yes, Amma laughed at the adjective quality. That's irregular. That's irregular. You usually use as, then and one of the to indicate comparisons. As clean, as cleaner, as cleaner than, one of the cleanest, said Amma. As cute as, cuter than, one of the cutest, said Ichibo. It was getting rather late. Amma and Ichibo had to be back before the bell rang. They closed their eyes and made just in time. That evening, Ichibo went home to her mother. Amma, I am a hungry, ravenous girl. I want a tasty, toothsome and yummy tea. Ichibo's mother looked at her rather surprised. What was this mischievous daughter of hers up to? Of course, she did not know of Ichibo's meeting with the adjectives or her visit to the grammar line. So this was the story, The Adventures of Amar and Ichibo for you, published in the Gokulam magazine for you guys. Till I come back with a new episode, with a new story, till then, stay safe and take care. Thank you. This is Yachanda Mama signing off from you guys. In case if you have not liked, shared or subscribed to our channel, do like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.